Okay, so I had some parts come in today. Uh, this is for my first lightsaber build, kind of. So this is an Ultra Saber. I believe this was a Dominix V2 that I got. It was the first saber I bought. Uh, an Ultra Saber stunt saber uh, that came with a Guardian Blue LED and uh, just a basic little switch right here. It worked fine. But I decided I wanted to try my hand at giving one of these things a sound and a custom color, so I took all of this stuff and pulled it out. Ordered some new things. Uh, here's the original single die LED in its lens. Go away, we don't need those. So I ordered a bunch of stuff from the custom saber shop. <clears throat> Problem one. This. Here is the 12 millimeter AV switch. I think these come in 12 and 16, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is a lighted one. It has a white light on it. Black switch. Thought it would look great against this. First problem. That hole's not quite 12 millimeters. It's a little smaller. Easily solved. I just need to get a drill bit and open that up. Maybe even just, just a file. And that should be easy enough. So, easy, easy. Easy stuff. Problem two. This is the MHS LED holder. I'll we'll recognize this. Here's the problem. Ah, come here. Dropping everything today. Does not fit at all. Pretty easily solved though, since I still have the LED holder that the Ultra Saber came with. This obviously it's like a charm, and sometimes comes out like a charm. Um, so I actually did not need the MHS LED thing here. Got a couple of the resistors that I need. Actually, need to get a couple more, but they're out of stock, so I'll just get them at the local fries. Battery, speaker, and this is the star of the show: the custom Tricree Amber Amber Green. LED. These parts fit in here just fine. Well, the only thing I think I'm going to have to do differently than what I thought, and sorry, I'm recording this with a phone. I don't do normal videos. I don't make a whole lot of them. Maybe I make more than I think. I don't know. So, amber, amber, green. What I think I'm going to have to do, since if you notice the biggest difference here between the pad that the LED sits on from these two is this has all one, two, three, four five, six holes that you can do whatever you want with, or this is lacking two holes. I only have four, or you have slots in this case to fit in this guy. That obviously won't work. It's way too big. <sighs> so I'm going to have to do something slightly more advanced than what I thought I would have to do. It's probably old hat to a lot of you guys out there, but since this is really my first foray into this and I haven't done much soldering in my life, it will be a little advanced for me, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. Uh, jump the pads here on the LED so that I only have to take two off for the amber and two off for the green. So if I've watched all my videos and listened right, it's going to be this positive to this positive, this negative to this negative. Then I'll take two of these, whichever two, run a wire going down each of these paths. And then from the green here, a wire going straight down there. And then probably here, careful not to get the solder onto that guy and just gently bend it over this way so that it comes down. I only have four wires coming off of this. And at least I think that's that's the way it's going to go. I have a little more research to do. I have some more things to get. I need to get some heat shrink. I need to get a, uh, another couple of resistors. This is the one for the green, I believe. I need to get the two for the ambers. They, uh, TCSS was out of them. But I have a fries like five minutes from my door resistor. The variable resistor for the light on um, the switch shouldn't be a problem. Oh, and one last thing, um, the recharge port. I've decided to do this with a recharge port and a kill key, but you'll notice this saver does not have a place for that. I started thinking about that after the fact, I'm like, well, what am I going to do? Maybe I could just stuff it inside. Uh, you know, I've got the plastic stuff that uh, they've used and stuff, and this actually fits. I've seen a lot of uh, like um, Saber Forge savers where you have to or hilts, you have to cut this and fold it down on itself. Probably the other problem with Ultra Sabers being so damn fat. 
But an advantage this time is I don't have to cut it. It fits. It actually fits perfectly. So I just have to cut it a little under to get under the threads here. And that should suffice to protect everything from any metal touching it. So I thought maybe I would just throw this inside. And yeah, you know what? I'll just have to take the, the pommel off every time and do that. You know, it is it's my first one. It's very experimental. I can't even guarantee that once it's done, this saber is going to stay together. I might pull it apart. Got a sound card on the way. Thank you two gentlemen that I... Your names are escaping me right now because I'm not looking at my phone for helping me out with that and with the repair on one of those things. Uh, Nana Biscotti V3 headed my way. So we'll have a uh, amber amber with a green flash on clash. So I thought about what to do with this and then it occurred to me. This is the pommel that I actually have for this. This is half of one of Ultra Saber's couplers. Uh, they're adjustable couplers, though, the first one that they came out with. So there's a large Allen screw that goes through the, the other. You put the two ends of these things together, and it's keyed there, so you can adjust the sabers to the orientation that you want and the buttons and whatnot that are on there. And uh, you put an Allen screw through the thing and then just screw them in, and they come out straight. This guy actually fits pretty well in there. And if you put it in on the other side, without the little uh, washer and nut on it, let's see, I can get you down in there. There we go. And if I push it through, that's just almost flush. Almost. It'll almost just sit in there. And with the kill key, if I can do this without pushing it out. Yeah, let's do it this way. Uh, yeah. Kill key fits perfectly. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to run the wire around the speaker and down into this. And have the kill key right there. I really shouldn't have need to open it except maybe to pull the, sound card, the SD card out of the, the sound card. Uh, but I'll leave myself enough slack to just stuff behind the little speaker there that uh, that won't be a problem. Um, hmm, maybe the twisting will be. I have to think about that. Maybe I won't do this. I, I did also order a, uh, a regular 18650 uh, battery holder and a couple of, eight, couple of standalone 18650s without the, the wire on them. Just in case I decided to change my mind. I figured the spare parts are not a bad thing to have. Um, but hopefully in the next few days to a week, we'll have this project started and I'll have myself a new saber with sound with my own custom LED that I did myself. So there we have it. Thanks for watching.